What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Bruno today, bringing you guys back with a brand new Naruto Shippuden reaction video. Today, we are going to be reacting to episode number 16 of Naruto Shippuden entitled The Secrets of the Jinjuriki. So, hopefully, we get to reveal some secrets that we do not know currently of the Jinjuriki. If not, hopefully, we get to do so at some point of Naruto because that'd be super super cool hopefully you guys are excited if you guys are you guys are new to do be sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel that'd be greatly appreciated also bear in mind that I do in fact have a patreon that you guys can find at the top of the description down below where you guys can view four reaction videos early access content and exclusive series reactions over there so if that does suit your interest you guys can find that over there on the patreon page at the top of the description down below Nonetheless, episode number 16 of Naruto Shippuden entitled The Secrets of Jinjiraki. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are excited. If you guys are, you guys are in to do. But with that being said, let's get started with this episode of Naruto Shippuden. What does this mean? I wish I knew. I can't believe that they literally did some sort of jutsu to make it Yura's body. What? Is it possible he was a spy for the Akatsuki? Yep, that is the- that's what- that's what happened! Huh, this is really strange, man. The Akatsuki are scheming about. Was he using a transformation jutsu? No, lady. This jutsu is on a whole other level. Some sort of new jutsu, I guess. Like I said, the Akatsuki, they've- they've had like two or three years to plan this out, so... And he did all the jutsu of the Uchiha clan, so... Something doesn't add up here. I'm scared. Uh, too, huh? yes. And here's their real body, man. Well, we did only give the sacrifices 30% of our chakra, right? That was only 30% of their power? With that little chakra, it's no big surprise our stand-ins were taken out. Wow. So that wasn't even their real bodies. That wasn't even their full strength. All right, well, we've uncovered that in this episode, and... Oh, gosh, we still got Gara all kinds of messed up. It seems like there's more red aura now. Oh, gosh, this is all kinds of weird and crazy. I hope Gara's gonna be okay. It does not look good for him. Bro, the time is just whittling down, man. We've wasted so much time fighting the fake Itachi and Kizumi. They were both my subordinates. <laughs> you should be the one thanking me. He said, Sasori, you better chill, bro. <laughs> uh, it's no, man. Come on, we gotta have at least a little bit more time to save Gara. I think it's safe to assume at this point that his goal was to gather information and stall us here for a while. You guys gotta get going fast. It's over this way. <laughs> I love the little dog. Little puppy, so adorable. They were clearly trying to stall the time. All right, so both Team Guy and Team Kakashi realize they're trying to stall them. Time to get going, right? You guys have little time. I never realized you were fighting against people as strong as this. It's the real deal, man. They're after his nine-tailed fox. The extraction of the tailed beast has already begun. Huh? Yep. Y'all gotta go. Y'all better start sprinting through the trees as, like, right now. If they can draw out the one tail, they can create a new Jinchuriki. A new Jinchuriki? What? Oh my gosh. The tailed beasts possess power beyond all reckoning. Every land has tried to use them as military weapons. Yeah, because they are strong, strong. There were, of course, those who tried to harness that great power for their own purposes. Like the Akatsuki, right? They hope to suppress the tailed beast's great power and then bend that might to their will. Just like they did with Naruto. They had to seal the curse in them. And the ones with the tailed beasts sealed inside of them, such as our own village's Gara. So that is what a Jinjuriki is. People with the, the tail, tail, like, demons in them, huh? And if you count Gara, then all told there have been three Jinjuriki in the history of the Sand Village. Oh, wow. That's crazy. It's cool that, like, Gar has the one tail, Naruto has the nine tails. There's still two, three, four, five, six, and seven left spread out throughout the world. But there were several wars fought using the Jinchuriki, weren't there? And the people who become Jinchuriki. Oh, gosh. And Naruto's right there listening, man. How are the tailed beasts extracted? A couple of things are needed. It's like what they're doing with Gara, man. They figured out all they needed to take is Jinjuriki. That's right. 
What? The tailed beast is extracted. They die? They die. Nah, man. We can't kill Gara. They can't kill Gara. They can't kill Gara, right? Gara's too much of like a stand standout character. The Jinchuriki who came before Gara. We extracted the Shukaku from them as well. Oh gosh. Okay, now we we gotta start moving. Let's talk while we go to Gara. You always were quick to cry. Oh, Sakura. Yeah. Hey, don't worry. Aw oh, man. Naruto, I'm concerned. You better hurry. Y'all better start moving. Y'all can talk on the way. Naruto has the right idea. <laughs> well, here's Ibizo. What's up, man? I like this guy. He's always the level headed of the group. Calming down Lady Chio. Oh wow, what does it say? Is this Conqueror? What's up, buddy? You okay? My man just needs like sit down, bro. My man keeps on getting up. <laughs> sit down. Be moving yet. Jesus. Oh, I can't just sit here. I see them. Sit down, bro. I, I I get him though. His brother's out there captured, about to die by the Akatsuki. Yoru was a spy? Ah, uh, they know now. That is wild, man. So he was devoted just to being a spy for four years? We checked out everyone when Gara became Kaze Kaze. Not thorough enough, buddy. Maybe they did some sort of jutsu or something. Yeah, maybe. She says nothing of when Gara will return. Chill, bro. They're trying. One of the five great nations has been kidnapped by a lone pair of outlaws, no less. This is all over the place, dude. This is not good for us. Yep, all sorts of people will try to do some stuff. We don't know that Gara isn't coming back yet. Wow, they're already gonna make someone else in the uh, uh, Kazakage? The village might be better off if he never came back at all. Yo, y'all can't talk like that to Gara. Gara is an unstable monster. We thought he would be easier to govern if we made him the Kazakage. Oh wow. Come on, y'all can't talk like this to Gara? Face it. He's a botched experiment at best. Bro, they all really talking behind Gara's back. Fourth Kaze Kage ordered his assassination for a reason. Oh man. Conqueror's almost fed up with this. We may get out the chair. I don't care if you are a council member. I'm Facts. Not gonna listen to this. Facts. That's your brother, bro. We all just gonna slander Gara's name to Kazakage. Anger is certainly understandable, but there's an element of truth to what he says. Oh man. We have faced a similar situation before. The third Kazekage was also kidnapped. The Sand Village has it rough these past few Kazekages. He was far stronger than either of his predecessors. Oh, really? Quite astonishingly, his body was never found. Was this the guy who was like murked by uh, Orochimaru and Kimimaru? Something like that must never happen again. We have to consider the best interests of the village. Yep, we can't have that happen again. But there was no reason to send Tamari out there. Conqueror's almost had it, man. He's raising his voice and stuff. Naturally, we wanted a Jonin rank or higher for such a mission. Lots of commotion going on at this meeting. It's just that... Just that... This is Gara. Yep. It's his brother, man. He's my little brother. Aww. No one's got anything to say after that. It's his little brother, like, what do you want? Like, what do you think his reaction's gonna be to you guys slandering his name and stuff? Ah, uh, this is a crazy episode so far. A lot of commotion going around, so hopefully we can find out some way to get past all this craziness going on with the Akatsuki, Gar being captured, hopefully Gar doesn't die, and lots of stuff going on. Yikes. Oh my gosh. Come on, you guys gotta get the Gara fast. Get rid of those two we used for the impersonation jutsu. Understood. They got the inside scoop, man. Comprised of Kakashi Hatake, Sakura Haruno, the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, Naruto Uzumaki, and Chio. How is Sazori gonna feel when he sees Lady Chio there? Y'all tired? Probably after fighting Itachi. It's like he hasn't entirely gotten a handle on that giant Rasengan. That giant Rasengan tired him out, huh? Ah, uh, guys, guys, tired as well. <laughs> I like guys' spirit, man. 
Oh my gosh. Guy, <laughs> guy needs a break. He just used the Asukujaku, didn't he? We yep. Need to rest for a while. So both Guy and Naruto are really tired. Not good for us. What did they want us to guard this place for? I don't know, but orders are orders. Huh. Strange. Stop here. Why? We taking a break? Kashi Sensei, what's wrong? We're taking a short break. Gara is about to die, man. Naruto. Pace has slowed since we faced off against that bogus Itachi. Oh man. I guess we do need to get our energy back. We'll ultimately reach our destination faster. Gar is running out of time. We'll need our full strength. Yeah, I guess there's no point to go there really weak and out of energy and out of chakra. Because obviously Dadara and Sazori are super strong. I can't wait till we get there, man. That's going to be awesome if we see some fight scenes with Team Guy and Team Kakashi versus the Akatsuki. That'd be cool. What's this music for? Okay. There's his body all kinds of messed up. Oh, is this guy. What do you want? I don't like this guy, man. <laughs> He's freaky. Oh my gosh. That guy is all kinds of freaky. I don't like this music. What's this music for? Oh gosh. Alright, so that was the end of that episode of Naruto Shippuden. Alright, so that was in fact the end of that episode of Naruto Shippuden. If you guys did actually enjoy that reaction, you already know to do. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new to this channel. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also, bear in mind that I do in fact have a Patreon that you guys can find at the top of the description down below where you guys can view full reaction videos, early access content, and exclusive series reactions over there that'll never be seen on this YouTube channel. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys can find all of that content over there on the Patreon page. Nonetheless, Let's talk about this episode of Naruto Shippuden because that was really, really cool. That was a really cool, interesting, creepy episode of Naruto where we figured out basically that that jutsu uh, was actually a jutsu that was like controlling the fake versions of both Itachi and Kizumi. We found out that was literally only 30% of their power. And the real Itachi and Kizumi were like chilling on some rock together and they look really, really cool. Uh, but they were chilling and the real versions of them were, you know, chilling on that rock while the fake versions were fighting both Team Guy and Team Kakashi. And it took, uh, it took Guy to open up the gates. It took, a, uh, to Kakashi to actually, you know, step up and do some crazy moves with, you know, the hidden jutsu mixed in with Naruto's giant Rasengan. It took all that just to take down 30% of the real deal. So... Itachi and Kizumi, really, really strong. I definitely wasn't expecting to, like, beat them at, like, this early in Naruto Shippuden. So, it makes sense, like, why that's, like, 30% of their power. And that's, like, we haven't even scratched the surface of how strong these guys are. And how we're actually going to be able to actually kill these guys and destroy them. And to get rid of them, Kizumi, Itachi, we got to get rid of these guys, man. All the members of the, uh, the Akatsuki, it's going to be a battle, dude. It's going to be a harsh, crazy battle. And... I'm excited to see how it goes down. I mean, there's 500 episodes of Naruto Shippuden, and I'm guessing we're all throughout Naruto Shippuden, we're going to see all sorts of really cool battles with the Akatsuki. I'm just so excited for this, man. Naruto Shippuden has been great so far. Naruto Shippuden has been, oh my god, I, I, it's been amazing so far. I thought I really, really liked the original Naruto, but so far... 16 episodes in the Naruto Shippuden. This has been great, man. This has been great. The the, the soundtrack, the animation, everything has been great. The Akatsuki, the plot. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, what else happened inside this episode? We actually got to see a few like little secrets and a lot, lot little little like little fine details with uh, the members of the Jinjuriki and more information about them. Of course, you know, Gara has the one tails, Naruto has the nine tails, and there's still like seven other people um, with other like tailed foxes and tailed like demons and stuff. And it's gonna be really cool to see how they actually look like because uh, of course like the two tailed fox is gonna have two tails, three tails, three tails, and so on and. That's gonna be really cool to see how they look and what characters are actually, you know, actually possesses the the Jin Juriki powers. It's gonna be cool, man. It's gonna be really, really cool. Um, what else happened inside this episode? We got to see that, you know, basically, of course, they found out both, you know, Team Kakashi and Team Guy. They found out that pretty much everything up until this point has been pretty much like a stalling sort of tactic, and 
they gotta get moving. Of course, Guy is really, really tired from using his, like, guilt, his, his opening up the gates kind of thing going on. And, of course, Naruto is also really tired from, you know, using his giant rousing gun. So, everyone's tired after fighting 30% of Kizumi and Itachi. And they gotta kind of, like, take a little, bit of a little bit of a break and, like, regain their powers before they actually meet the Akatsuki and have to fight them. Because if they come in there, if they, ever, if they arrive and they're weak... It's going to be pointless, it's going to be useless, they're going to lose the fight, so they got to, you know, recover, and a lot of stuff's going on, man. We got to, we actually got to see a really cool, like, little council meeting going on with the, with the Sand Village, and they're, they are, like, kind of slandering, like, Gara's name and talking all kinds of crazy, and I feel bad for Conqueror because that's his little brother, and you can tell that it's, like, making him angry and frustrated and stuff. He literally got out of his chair, was like, hey, you better stop. He, like, got up to him and did something like this and said, you better stop in the sacred place of, you know, the council meeting uh, where, like, the Kazakage statues and stuff are. So you can tell like, he's, he's mad man. They're slandering Gara's name. They're talking all kinds of crazy There's a little bit of like a hint of a truth to what happened because this has already kind of happened before to the sand village So it's like kind of like it's kind of okay It's kind of like I, I get where they're coming from at least when they're like talking about Gara how they're talking about Gara So I kind of get where, where they're coming from because they already lost a really really powerful Kazakage I think that's the same Kazakage that like was murked by Orochimaru and uh, Kimimaru uh, so they've, the Sandvilles have already been through a lot. They've already been through this, uh, and I, I get where they're coming from, but I feel bad for Conqueror because, you know, Gar's his little brother, and of course that's going to make him upset of how they're actually talking about him. And it kind of made me upset as well. Um, on the off side of things, uh, Tamori and her squad was, like, sent to this, like, weird castle place. I don't know what's going on with that, but... They gotta, like, stay and watch that for that for, like, 24 hours apiece, so we're gonna see what happens over there and, uh, you know, with Tamori Squad. After that happened, that is when we figured out that, of course, you know, Kakashi, Naruto, everybody has to rest. We gotta take a little break right now or else it's gonna be pointless and we're not gonna make it in, in time. We're not gonna make it to Gara in time as fast as we could if we weren't at, you know, full strength. So we're gonna have to, you know, take a little bit of a break. And then after that, we gotta see that weird, like, chameleon, sort of, like, half white, half black, like, crazy, like, contraption of of his face, I don't even. It looks like it looks like a what's it? What's that? What's that thing called? Like a fly trap, a Venus tra fly trap? I think that's what it's called, right? He looks like that, man. Like I'm scared of him, dude. He looks really, really crazy. There's like some creepy music playing, and kind of scared of him, dude. So we're gonna see what he does. I don't really like how he's like lurking about. This guy is literally lurking all over the place, man. He's like spying on Kakashi, spying on guys, doing something with uh, the bodies of the bogus Kizumi and Itachi bodies. But apart from that, that's pretty much everything that happened inside of this episode of episode number 16 of Naruto Shippuden. If you guys had actually enjoyed the reaction you guys are new to do, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to this channel. If you guys are new to this channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. Also, bear in mind that I do in fact have a Patreon that you guys can find full reaction videos, early access content, and exclusive series reactions over there. But nonetheless, that that was a great episode of Naruto Shippen. If you guys had actually enjoyed you guys are to do, I'll be seeing you guys on my next one. Peace.